Third party control accounts in Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12. Third party control accounts are party control accounts which are used in receivables or payables. They are necessarily associated with parties like customers or suppliers. The objective of creating third party control accounts is to give a secure transaction access to control accounts wherein you will not be able to enter manual journals or use that account in any modules other than the designated modules. Second thing is reporting on party ledgers like reporting the receivables ledger and payables ledger for every individual customer and supplier. As an example, let us set up a payables control account 2214 and we will set up supplier for 2214 control account then we will verify the transaction access security for this control account by entering a manual journal whether it allows or not then we will enter payables transactions and we will see how party ledgers are reported. So let us set up a control account. So this is general ledger. Let us go to values the value set name is operations account we are going to use vision operations for this let us query some values there are some values like 2210 already created for accounts payable 2213 payables for employees let us create one more value 2214 this is payables control let us make this a liability account and here is a segment qualifier third party control account you have several options available in this if you set this as a customer you can use it in receivables and report party ledgers for individual customers within that account. If you use for supplier, you can use it in payables. If you say yes, you can use it in customer, receivables or suppliers that is payables. If you say no, that is not a control account. If you say restrict manual journals, this is a new value introduced in 12.1.3. Basically for all the values other than no, the manual journals will be restricted but for restrict manual journals it will also allow you to use the control account in all the models except general ledger and you need not have to associate parties with this account whereas if you choose supplier customer or yes you need to compulsorily associate a customer or a supplier or either of them in case of yes for the control account to operate. So let us set this up as an example as a supplier. Save the value, exit the screen. The first step is completed. We have set up a third party control account that is 2214 account. Let us set up a supplier and associate this supplier with this control account. I am navigating to payables. There is already a supplier created which is demo industries. This supplier has yet not been used in any transactions in payables. This is demo industries. Let us go to accounting part. By default, it has been associated with liability account 2214. We will change that to the new control account that we have created. And save the change. So we have now set up the supplier for this control account. Let us verify the transaction security on this control account 2214. We will navigate to GL and try to enter 
a manual journal on this. The moment you attempt to create a manual journal, it will give an error. You cannot use control accounts. Please choose a different account. And that is the objective. You should not be able to create any manual journals or you should not be able to use this account in any other ways than it is intended because it, in that case, going to result in reconciliation. So transaction security has been established for this account. Let us now enter some payables transactions for the suppliers that we have associated with this account. Once again, I am navigating to payables. Let us create some invoices. Invoices on the supplier which we have associated with the control account. I will associate a distribution set with it. Let us complete the lines. Save the invoice. Validate the invoice. The invoice is validated, approval is not required. Let us do the create accounting. Accounting has been done successfully. Let us once upon once check whether our account has been used for this accounting. View the journal entry. Account 2214 has been used. Let us go back and create one more invoice. Once again, I'm using the same distribution set. The first entry I have made is in January 15 and the second is in February 15. Let us validate. For a long time, the functionality of getting party ledgers in receivables and payables was not there and lot of companies required customizations on this. With using third party control accounts, now you can get the party ledgers easily. Validation is completed. Let us do also the create accounting part. And this is just a proof of concept kind of a video. So we are not going to enter too many transactions and we are not going to create too many suppliers. So just two transactions. 
one is in january we intend to see whether the opening balance is reported properly and we also want to see whether the current month transactions which is february are going to be reported properly within the party ledgers so accounting has been created you can alternatively run the create accounting process but we have done the individual invoice accounting hence this create accounting process need not be run so this uh, step has already been completed now let us see how we can see the party ledger for this control account so let us go within payables and run a request to report the party ledger third party balances report choose a ledger source is payables and we want to have the party ledger from 1st feb 15 or okay this is a period so feb 15 to feb 15 so only for one month so the january transaction we created should be reported as an opening balance of the supplier and third parties we will take all the third parties associated with our account 2214 this way all the supplier that you have set up with this particular account will be reported in the party ledger since we have created only one supplier we will see only one supplier account allow this request to be completed and this is where you will see this is for accounting flex field 2214 to 2214 and this is the second page you can see here the party number is 16 demo industry is the beginning balance is 5000 This is for the January invoice that we entered, which has come as the opening balance of February, and these are all the transactions of February invoice I one thousand two and so on, with a credit to the party sixteen thousand five hundred and so on, and the ending balance is twenty one thousand five hundred. So this is how the party ledger will be reported for all the suppliers that you created under the control account, and you can use this idea during implementation. to create different supplier groups for generating different party ledgers for different purposes of the organization thank you bye bye